All right, let's talk about Michael Todd versus Evgeny Prudnik. This is going to be one of the bigger matches on the East versus West card next month. I think that hopefully it's going to be a war. I see Michael Todd going into his Kings move as always, and we're going to see if Prudnik is going to be able to get Michael stretched out and get in a good enough position to come down for a press. I think that's the most likely outcome is that Evgeny either locks him into a hook and then from there transitions up top on top of Michael's hand and then goes down for a press when Michael stretched out. I think that's the likely outcome. Prudnik is the heavy favorite for sure. In fact, I did a poll earlier today to see what people think. Is Michael Todd going to win? Is Prudnik going to win? And let's take a look right here. So, yeah, so 65% said Prudnik is going to win. So heavy favorite there. Michael Todd, 35%. We got some comments here. I want Michael Todd to win. His new exercise program has him looking like he's in the best shape of his life. I got to agree with that. There's a video of him doing 176 on seated bicep curls going for Levon's record, which is I, th I think is about 25 reps or so. And he's looking super strong, super impressive, but uh, so is Prudnik. I mean, his past two super matches against Morozov and Hutchings have been pretty dominant performances on his side. So we got another comment. I could see Michael winning, but when you think about what Prudnik did to Hutchings, it has to be a war for Todd to win. I, I think so. I definitely agree. Prudnik is looking super dominant, um, and he, the thing about him is he's so, he's so good in every position. He can hook, he can top roll, he can transition, he can go without his wrist. Like Prudnik is a ex super experienced arm wrestler, so that's why I think. Well, so is Michael Todd, but Michael Todd is more known for just his king's move than anything else. He's not really known. Uh, to be versatile and just fundamental arm wrestling. He's more just, you know, known for the Kings move. But let's take a look at some of this footage of Michael Todd recently. He was just training with Ron Bath and they didn't upload the full video, but there is this one clip on Michael Todd's YouTube right here. Just kind of get some perspective on the shape he's in because now we don't know the backstory on this. Obviously, this could be, you know, Ron could have went against Corey West before this or for all we know, but it's just something to look at to kind of see Michael Todd's shape here. Let's take a look. Yeah, so I mean... Looks super strong from that, and if Ron Bath is saying he's solid, that's got to mean something. I mean, obviously, Michael Todd has been at a high level for a while, but let's take a look at some of his strength in the gym. This was the seated bicep curls that he's repping out 176 here. This was, like, legit stuff here. Yeah. One, two, So 27 reps, that's pretty big time there from Michael Todd. 27 reps of 176, a lot of people can't even curl that for one. I mean, that's super impressive strength. And he's looking leaner, Michael Todd, but he's also looking super strong. So we'll see how his king's move holds up against Prudnik because Prudnik has been dominating his past two super matches. This is round number one. Oh my goodness. Right to the pad. I'm going to replay that. Like, I'm going to go in slow-mo on this because that's just ridiculous. Flash pinning Todd Hutchings. Just sets that drag hook and just right to the pad. And Todd Hutchings is no joke. Serious arm wrestler. This is round. Was that an elbow foul? They called that as an elbow foul. So he did it again. Once again, round one. Let's go to round two. Oh, too good. Evgeny Prudnik 
Once again. Even in the strap, he makes it look easy. Uh, he's just so fundamentally sound at being able to ha keep his pronation. Even while he's hooking in, he's got his pronation in case he has to roll out. He's just so fundamentally skilled. This guy's been doing it, you know, 10 plus years. Let's take a look at his match against Morozov also, where he dominated an even bigger opponent, up-and-comer, Artem Morozov from uh, Kazakhstan. Go! And he okay, he's going inside. And it looks like he, I mean, it looks like he's just training here. He just sets that hook and he's just, he's just holding. He's just holding, trying to expose his bicep here, get him out of position. Way too strong. Let's go to round two. In the strap here. And he top rolls this round. I think Evgeny wants to show the dominance of a shoulder or chest. That's not good. And he, I mean, basically injured Artem on the right there. Just too strong. Way too strong. Especially inside. No, no, no. That's not where he needs to fight. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I feel like Evgeny is a constant It's, yeah, it's control. And they called the match after that. So Morozov got injured. Just way too strong in the hook is Prudnik. That guy is ridiculous. I think the hook seems to be his his go-to, but he can top roll as well as you saw there in, in round two. Started off with the top roll, but he's so versatile. But to actually see him against a Kings move is going to be super exciting because I haven't seen a match of Prudnik against a Kings move. If you have, you know, leave a comment because I, I haven't seen any. And this is going to be one that's coming up where we get to actually see that. Prunik get tested by Michael Todd's King's move. We'll see how far under the table Michael Todd goes or if he even has to. But I'm really looking forward to this match. Leave a comment. Who do you think is going to win this match? I'm going to pick Prunik, to be honest. I think he's just way too fundamentally strong. He's going to keep Michael separated. And then from there, he's going to... Because he's able to transition to a press. There's been previous matches. If you look at all the... You know, there's so many matches from Prudnik on, on YouTube that you could watch where he's able to hook, he's able to top roll, and he can he can press. He can even press with his wrist back. He can transition from one to the other. So I just think he's too too well rounded for Michael Todd. But you know, Michael Todd's looking strong, so hopefully you can give him a good match. That's it. I'm out.